if you're struggling to approach girls right now, mate, there is one little trick you can implement straight away to change that. There is one psychological hack that you can implement right now to instantly make yourself substantially more confident. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? And I'll tell you what it is, but first, let's explore why you even have this shyness, like why you have this anxiety, because it's gonna help you understand this principle much better. Why do you feel anxious? Why, when you see that girl that you want to approach, why do you shit yourself and why, why do you not approach her? The simple answer is, is the negative thoughts. The answer is you simply have too many thoughts of doubt, too many self-limiting beliefs, too many negative thoughts circling around in your head. And when you see that attractive girl that you want to approach, all those thoughts suddenly come to the forefront of your mind. Those thoughts suddenly become the most powerful thing in your head. And they stop you approaching that girl. Because when you see that girl, all you can think about are those negative thoughts. When you see that girl, all of a sudden those self-hype thoughts that you tried to implement before, all those verbal affirmations that you tried to impose into your head before, they all go out of the window because you've allowed these negative thoughts to breathe in your head. You've allowed these negative thoughts to blossom in your head. And because you've given them that opportunity, they've taken it, right? These, these negative thoughts are go-getters, mate. These uh, doubts, these self-limiting beliefs, they are very much go-getters. And if you, give them any, if you give them any sort of tangible opportunity to blossom and to grow, they will. So the key hack, this psychological hack to instantly become more confident relies on being able to suppress these thoughts. This hack relies on being able to suppress and completely eliminate these thoughts from your head. Give them absolutely zero real estate in your head. Give them absolutely zero opportunity to grow, to blossom, and to take control of your mind, because that is what they're doing right now. They are taking control of your mind, and that's why your mind right now, mate, is your biggest enemy as opposed to your biggest ally. So how do we do this? How do we suppress these thoughts once and for all so that, then, so that the next time you see that attractive girl, these thoughts don't dictate your actions? How do we do that? And it's very, very simple. Concentrate on one particular thought in your mind. It's very, very similar to meditation. I see this hack as a sort of, as a form of meditation because when you focus on one particular thought in your head, that's all you can think about. When you focus on one particular question, one particular statement, one particular phrase, just anything, right? Pause, pause this video right now, mate, and just think about anything. Think about, for example, red, a, a, a red t-shirt, right? Think about a red t-shirt and pause this video, close your eyes and just inside your head, talk to yourself and say, red t-shirt, red t-shirt, red t-shirt, red t-shirt, red t-shirt. And just do that for 10, 15 seconds. Like really, like truly, truly focus on this image in your head of a red t-shirt. And after those 10, 15 seconds, be honest with yourself. Did you think about anything else other than that red t-shirt? Like if you, like, pr pr take this seriously, mate, right? Take this really, really seriously. Pause this video, form a image of a red t-shirt in your head and just keep repeating to yourself as you truly focus on this image of a red t-shirt, just keep repeating to yourself, red t-shirt, red t-shirt, red t-shirt, and really picture it, like really, really imagine that red t-shirt in your head. You'll find that's all that you think about. You think, you, you realize that suddenly, any other thought in your mind evaporates. You realize that the only thing, the prevailing thought, the only thought in your head when doing this is that red t-shirt. So use exactly the same concept with cold approach. Use exactly this, this same concept 
to eliminate all the other negative thoughts in your head, to suppress all those negative thoughts in your head. And this is what we're gonna do. Next time, mate, you go out there, onto the streets, into the world, right? You go out into the world and you wanna approach some girls, right? What are you gonna do? As you're walking around, you're gonna, <laughs> it sounds, it sounds far-fetched, it sounds a bit silly, but trust me, I tr like wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe me, mate, that this works, right? This truly works. I've used this with my in-person coaching clients and it's completely transformed their confidence. As you're walking around, I want you to internally ask yourself one question. As you're walking around, you're going to talk to yourself the whole time. You're going to talk to yourself internally the whole time and ask yourself, do I want to speak to this girl? Hang on. I don't want to shout over the, uh, the jet. Right, cool. As you're walking around, you're going to ask yourself, you're going to ask yourself this question internally. Do I want to speak to this girl? So as you're walking around there, you're, gonna, you're walking around, you're looking around, and you're saying, all you're saying to yourself, you, 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 again, you're truly focusing, you're truly honing in on this one question. Do I want to speak to this girl? 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 And when you're doing that, the, like I say, the only thing, because you are honing in on this one particular question, the only thing that your brain can realistically concentrate on, the only thought that your brain can realistically hold in your mind is that one question. Do I want to speak to this girl? Do I want to speak to this girl? Do I want to speak to this girl? You give your brain absolutely no capacity to breed negative thoughts. You have absolutely, you give your brain no ability to cultivate thoughts of doubt, self-believing thoughts, self-deprecating thoughts, any negative thoughts. You can't do it for, you know, it's physically impossible because you're so honed in, you're so concentrated on this one particular question, which is, do I want to speak to this girl? So say you're walking there, right? And finally, you come across a girl to which the answer to that question is yes. Right, you're walking around, you're walking around, boom. You see that straight 10 over there, right? So you see that straight 10 and the answer to that question is yes. You do want to speak to her. Now, when this opportunity arises, it is absolutely vital that you do this next part. Because so far, you've been walking around and you've been meditating in a way, you know, honing in on this one particular question in your head. So that's the only thing you can think about. When you see this girl, it is vital that you then switch to the following statement, which, is, which, which I'll tell you in a second, but it's vital that you do, because if you see that girl and you stop this practice of meditation, straight away all those negative suppressed thoughts, boom, are gonna come back out. And gonna come back from the, for, from the back of your mind, straight into the forefront of your mind, and again, it's gonna completely overwhelm you. It's gonna completely dictate your actions yet again and stop you from approaching that girl. So, when you see that attractive girl that you want to approach, you're gonna change this meditative command in your head from, do I want to approach this girl, to I'm gonna to speak to that girl. I'm gonna to speak to that girl. I'm gonna to speak to that girl. And again, when you see that girl straight away, flick, like a switch, flick it straight away from, do I wanna to, to speak to this girl, to I'm gonna to speak to this girl. And as you approach her, again, just it, it, it sounds like really far-fetched, like, and, and I really appreciate that, but just please believe me, this, this truly, truly works. When you see that girl, switch that mind, switch that internal question to that internal command of I'm gonna to speak to this girl. And as you're approaching that girl, really focus in, like really, really focus in, really hone in on this one command. I'm gonna to speak to this girl, I'm gonna to speak to this girl, I'm gonna to speak to this girl, I'm gonna to speak to this girl. And as you're walking up towards her, again, you're gonna sell it, you're gonna tell yourself this internally, I'm gonna to speak to this girl. And what again, what this does is it stops any negative thoughts from brewing, any negative thoughts from breathing and growing and coming to the forefront of your mind and dictating your actions. That's what it's gonna do. Because very much like when you truly hone in and truly concentrate on, on that one question, if you do the same thing with this statement, it's physically impossible for your brain to allow any other thoughts to blossom. You're gonna have this one singular thought in your mind, this one singular mission, this one singular purpose in your head at, at that moment, which is to approach that girl. And as you're walking towards that girl, and as you're simultaneously telling yourself, I'm gonna approach this girl, I'm gonna to speak to this girl, I'm gonna to speak to this girl, you do it. You do it because 
those negative thoughts that you had previously that were stopping you, they no longer exist. Those negative thoughts that were telling you that you weren't good enough, that this girl was out of your league, that it's going to go badly, that it's going to be awkward, that you'll call the police. All those thoughts that you're having before, they no longer exist. And finally, it's as if the, 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 the wall of the prison cell has just crumbled under your feet. You try to escape this prison cell, but there's a massive wall in your way and there's physically no way of scaling that wall. Well, when you truly meditate and truly focus in on this one particular statement of I'm going to speak to this girl, it is almost as if this wall just crumbles at your feet and opens up the vast landscape for you to go into, for you to run off into and be free once and for all.